as they sat watching TV in their garage. I don't know how to do this. My son is a big dog. It seems like he's a little delusional. This is the 911 call from the worried mother of 19-year-old college frat boy Austin Blue. She made the call after her son stormed out of a restaurant in upscale Jupiter, Florida. And, you know, he's Feels immortal and like superhero to us. I don't know what's going on with him. And he was out to dinner with his dad today and he took off. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Yes. No one's been on there. No phone. Well, I think the only thing he has on is a pocket knife. The mom's worst fears were realized when he walked four miles before randomly encountering John and Michelle Stevens in their garage and allegedly beat and stabbed them to death. Police speculate that the real was under the influence of a drug called Plaka, sometimes known as bath salt. HLN's Dr. Drew Pinsky says taking the drug is playing Russian roulette with your life. What they have potential to do is cause something called an excitatory delirium. Delirium meaning somebody doesn't have any idea where they are, what they're doing. They can agitate and say, it is become physically and violent. This is what a bad reaction to Plaza can look like. YouTube is loaded with videos of young people freaking out on Plaza. When cops rush to the home of John and Michelle Stevens, they say they found the loop eating the distant face like a zombie. We recovered a switchblade and we recovered several blunt objects because during the crime, the victim sustained multiple a blunt trauma injuries along with a laceration and uncomfortable. What's up, guys? Austin Haru shared much of his life on YouTube, often using different accents. He showed off the progress he made bodybuilding. Stay at it. Keep doing it. I mean, you might as well give it your best effort to get fit because, uh... Don't you want to be the best? I don't know I want to be the best. In this video, he takes a tour of his parents' waterfront home to the gun. Then, he wields a knife as he approaches his father. Now, this well-liked husband and wife are gone. And a mom is left to wonder what went so wrong. I don't know what's going on with him.
I've got a lot of things. I've heard the rest of my name somewhere. I write about, I write books, I write things that get out and people read. I'll, I'll ruin your fucking name. You goddamn idiot, you fuck up my system. Yeah, you wait, uh, you, you, you can think what I'm going to do. Go to any bookstore, any magazine where I can look. I, you can see what the fuck I can do to you. And I will. You bastards, you fuck up my system like this. And then, God damn it, fuck you. Get up here. Not know that? 
were educated in army camps only. You will know enough to be a swank. Caesar, the Senate sends these documents for your signature. Of course. Senator, guilty of treason. Every senator believes himself to be a potential Caesar, therefore every senator is guilty of treason. Informed is not indeed. I tell you, Caesar command in the name of the Senate and the people. I thought there is Caesar command in the name of the Senate and the people of Rome. The Senate is the natural enemy of any Caesar little. Remember that. Traitors, look at them. They offer to approve any law I made before I made it. I said, what if I go mad? They were born to be slaves, Germanicus. I know everything that is felt and done. The setting sun, the rising sun. Ah! Lovely boy. And too young to betray me. This is He's like a brother to me, Lord. Brother? No, the brother is in our Brother kills a brother. Was killed in our Was killed his son. After you, dear brother, when I am gone, Caligula will kill you, and then someone will kill Caligula, unless he is dead before I am. You are looking not well at all. Uh, 
to, uh, it doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> this is the Palm Beach. See, I've been trying to look, I've been uh, educating myself to think like the Palm Beach life. And uh, I've come to surprise, and surprise in life's in this. I've been taking a drive up and down the beach in a red flash convertible with lesbians at night. And uh, just, uh, you know, naked people and uh, drugs. Uh, this is the power of the gold car. That's what you have to do. <laughs> But I, I thought that I, uh, Palm Beach, I mean, uh, the American Express image, you know, it's kind of silly. But the idea that anyone could, uh, want to run on this rent convertible yeah. by lesbians and trumpets with a gold card. So, uh, I wrote them a letter saying that, look, I think I have a better idea. And, uh, you know, what that is, is that I should do your ads from now on for the gold card, not the green card. I don't want any part of them. <laughs> I got put it down in a very uh, forceful and I think persuasive style. And it was uh, rejected by the swine that I wrote it to. His name was Johnson. No, I don't know. Uh, uh, it was, was a place called the Frog Shop somewhere. It, somewhere. it would be an effective campaign. I think you or, for the American Express, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, you, what are we, uh, yeah, that's good. That's, that's, I'm sure you have people here who can work on this. Yeah, I'm sure we do. We have a full staff of folks who are lucky to get you commercial work. That's all they do. I got over 180 yards, 7 iron, over a few. Okay, what about the next call? The next call? Where I hit to? That's where you drove it into the, uh, into the bushes, right? No, I'm talking to the par 3 where, uh, where uh, I, I hit it to 20 feet. Do a little squiver, 100, 100 yards from the tee. Hit the second shot over the green. I make, I go get down in two for a three. You're sitting over the green in two, 20 feet, and you hit a fucking seven iron chip that takes one bounce and hits the fucking flag stick and drops in like a stone. Yeah, and a queer, and a weird in the lane. Asshole. <laughs> I was in the middle of covering the Pulitzer divorce trial, which is really covering the uh, Palm Beach. Uh, you now, I realize you live out here in this clean, uh, wet air, and uh, it isn't like Palm Beach. And you can't imagine how really corrupt these people are. And that's all I did. All I did was explain that Palm Beach is like this. But nobody works. Everybody makes a million dollars a year just for flipping coupons. And, and they fight over uh, inches of beachfront on the you know, sand. And, well, remember that story with uh, the freighter washed up in one of those women's yards? That's Palm Beach. Yeah. She was amused. Amused. <laughs> Is that terrible? They had 81 Haitians washed up there one day, and they were amused. I got 180 yards, 7 iron, over a few, 3 iron, I can Okay, what about the next ball? The next ball? Where I hit the... That's where you drove it into the, uh, into the bushes, right? No, I'm talking to the par 3, where, uh, where, uh, I, I hit it to 20 feet, do a little squiver, 100, 100 yards from the tee, hit the second shot over the green, I make, I go get down in 2 for a 3, you're sitting over the green in 2, 20 feet, and you hit a fucking 7 iron chip that takes one bounce and hits the fucking flag stick and drops in like a stone. Yeah, and a queer, and a weird in the lane. Asshole. <laughs> What about Doomsbury? <laughs>
The crime is difficult to believe. A husband and his wife, identified as John and Michelle Stevens, were enjoying a warm summer's night watching TV. When cops say they were attacked by a madman. John and Michelle Stevens spent most nights in their garage, which they kept open so that they could talk to the neighbors who stopped by to say hello. They were killed, we say, by this 19-year-old frat boy, Austin Haloo. A desperate neighbor who tried to help call 911. Our leader is at an injury. Can you tell them where you are? Yeah, there's a girl laying on the ground. He beat her up. I ran over there. I'm bleeding profusely here at the moment. Okay. I don't know what happened. Did you tell him to be conscious? No, he does not appear to so no. Police say when they got there, they found a suspect on the top of John Stevens, and he was biting the slain victim's face. Police believe Haru was high on bath salt for another synthetic drug called Waka. Police say he had super human strength. It took four cops, a stun gun, and a canine dog to pull him off Stevens. Haru was a sophomore at Florida State University. In high school, he was on the football and wrestling team. We found this video on social media sites that allegedly showed him high as he thinks about hallucinogenic mushrooms. In another video, he denounces the use of steroids. Having dinner with his parents at a popular restaurant in Jupiter, Florida, when police say she suddenly freaked out. So that she became uh, upset about something that was going on with the service of the restaurant. I'm not exactly sure but that she finally uh, got up uh, and left the restaurant and took off on her foot. He walked for nearly four miles and ended up by chance in the upscale neighborhood where the Stevens lived. That's when he saw them watching TV in their open garage. Their neighbor heroically ran across the street to stop the attack. He ended up getting stabbed in the back before calling 911. Jim McNamara socialized with his blamed couple in their garage. If everybody was like them, we would have no problem in the world. And that door was always open.